Yeah, that's a better. Um, I decided to sit on grass because I felt like it. Um, this is this is so much fun. Oh yeah. This is this is a lot of fun. I was surprised how quick points were, and Definitely. compared to the first time when I was first here, I did a ten point tiebreaker with Ryan, who used to work here, and one of the things that I found was. Like the bounces on that court were not as clean, I would say, as this one. It's also the, with the old grass. Yeah. It's old grass. So what's? Do you know the difference between this one and the other one? I don't. I think. I think. Uh, like I guess they changed out the grass a couple couple years back. Okay. It you know plays. It's a little higher bouncing. Where back in the day it used to just really stay low to the ground. Mm -hmm. And also, I mean, you know, there's a new new team of groundskeepers. I know that. And the courts have just been playing, you know, pretty pretty cleanly all yeah. year so far. And it, it, this hasn't been used that much, so you can tell the difference because of how yeah. green everything is, right? If For I, sure. when I like cut to a clip that of me showing the courts over there, you're gonna see a bunch of like dirt basically at the baseline. Does that make it slippery, uh, more slippery, in that sense, or what, does the grass just wear out and becomes kind of ground? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it does it happen. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say it gets too slippery. Certain times of day, actually, um, like towards the end of the day, it can get a little slippery sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, it, it is sort of inevitable that it, yeah. it happens, um, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. You see it at Wimbledon. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> I, thankfully, I didn't fall. None of us fell today, which I was very happy no about. No injuries. No injuries. And you don't even, do you have grass specific shoes? No, no, no. you can't wear the, the um, spikes actually. You can't wear them here? No, because they'll, they'll mess up the, the courts. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you think it benefits players more with the studs or have you played with studs before? I've never, never even tried it. So um, you think it just, it's because it just tears up the ground a lot? Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. what, hmm, that's interesting because I feel like it would help, but then I remember a couple of Wimbledons ago, there was that bunch of injuries in that first round. Yep. And it was like at least six players retired due to injury because of the ground and everyone was upset. But at the same time, that was a part of the game, right? Happens. No, it happens out here. I mean, it's you, you do see it sometimes, you know, someone will slip, mm -hmm. um, lose their footing. Uh, so yeah, it can definitely happen. It can, uh, you know, I, I think on grass in general, you're gonna, there's more uncertainty. There's more yeah. sort of weird bounces sometimes maybe somebody slips yeah the ball will just stay really low to the ground and mm -hmm. be unplayable sometimes so it's all all part of it all yeah. part of the fun of playing on grass i i absolutely had a lot of fun today we're gonna shoot some small content stuff for you guys uh after this but thank you again to josh i really appreciate you doing this with me absolutely that was he has he has his own podcast what's your podcast called tennis iq tennis iq very fun stuff to listen to i would highly recommend you go check it out this guy is very intelligent when it comes to understanding the psyche of tennis so go check out tennis iq for his podcast and i hope to see you guys soon thank you guys so much for watching enjoy wimbledon